Okay, so we've seen in cases like this where we have a quadrilateral with one unknown angle, then we can use the fact that the four angles add to 360 to solve for the unknown. And to do that, we just added up the three angles we were given and subtracted from 360 to obtain the unknown. And extending from there, we might sometimes be given a quadrilateral where instead of just the one unknown, we've got two, or in this case, three angles, which we don't know. Now we say three, but there are two that are, as soon as we found one, we'll know the other. It'd be 10 degrees more than X. So in a case like this, we could tackle it by considering that top triangle in its own right. And we know that the angles in that triangle add to 180. So we could just use the triangle property that these angles add to 180. So we've got X plus 10 plus X plus 100, all must equal to 180. We can simplify that expression by collecting the like terms, which in this case, X plus X is 2X and the 10 plus 100 is 110. Then we can subtract 110 from both sides to reach 70 and we divide both sides by 2 and we solve for x is equal to 35 degrees. So if we substitute that through on the diagram as well, then we have the 35 degrees there and the 35 plus 10 for the other angle which is 45 degrees. And so that just leaves us with the task of finding y and we could proceed along the same sort of track. We could consider that bottom triangle in its own right, or we could consider the sum of the angles in the quadrilateral. So we'll do that. It would give us the same solution either way, but in this case, we'll just use the angle sum of the quadrilateral is 360, and that we know all the other angles. So if we just write this down, we're saying that Y, now this angle here, we can write down as the pair of the 70 plus 35 plus 100, plus this pair here, which are 45 plus 40. So if we write all that down there, add all these numbers up on the left, it comes to 290 degrees, which means that the value of Y must be equal to 70. And we would have obtained the same solution if we just considered that bottom triangle, because if we think of the 70 here plus the 70 there, that's going to come to 140 plus 40 is 180. So we could have tackled it as the angle sum in the bottom triangle or by the way we've actually done it, the angle sum of the quadrilateral. And of course we can change our diagram and we can see that the same working will hold for any type of problem of that form. And we can step back through the working to see how that could be substituted through in each case.